The Making Strides Against Breast Cancer in St. Louis Walk is a celebration of courage and hope and a movement that unites communities to end breast cancer as we know it for everyone. Joining us here in studio to talk about the event, we have two guests, the Senior Executive Director, Elizabeth Brown from the American Cancer Society of St. Louis, welcome, and Thank a you. Portrait of Hope survivor, Pamela King, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank you for having us. Uh, Elizabeth, tell us about this event. It's coming up this weekend. It's coming up this weekend. It's Saturday morning. Um, it's the largest walk for breast cancer research and patient services in the country with the American Cancer Society. And it is family friendly, fun, free, and we ask you to come out and support. Registration starts at 7.30 on Saturday morning. So be part of the movement. Making Strides Against Breast Cancer funds life-saving breast cancer research and Pamela you can speak to that firsthand. Absolutely. I was diagnosed with stage three triple negative breast cancer in 2019. I was 41 years old. I know when you know you never think it's going to happen. Never. Oh no super women don't get breast cancer. <laughs> but I learned that that's not true. Uh, the myths tell us that I was young. I'm a young black woman. You don't see young black women on TV talking about breast cancer. And so what I learned is that super women get breast cancer too. And I was already, my cancer was already spread to my lip nodes when I mm. found my own lump in my breast. And you are here with us today. So I am. you are one of those survivor stories. She's a true su are, superhero. Yeah. So, so tell us Elizabeth, how walkers can really add to this movement and they can just set a small goal, it sounds They can like. set a small goal of anything. We really don't even require. What we want is people to become aware of the importance of getting screened. Early detection truly saves lives. The earlier you get your screenings and find out if you do have a diagnosis, the better your chances of having a survivor story. And that's what we want. For the walk, we want people to come out, join a team. Your team name is? 3X Striders. 3X, 3X Striders. Striders, I like so it. So if you need a team, look it up on the website. You'll see it here, I'm sure and come out and be part of um, our story Saturday morning to celebrate the survivorship and the thrivers. And it's so interesting to hear the personal stories and also how far research and technology oh. have come. And of course that comes from support from the American Cancer Over 4 Society. million survivors now, um, a 93 um, decrease rate in mortality, um, forgive me, um, since the 90s, a decrease in morta mortality with the um, improved research that we're doing from raising money that goes directly in. We have over $8 million that goes into research right here in Missouri, Wash U, SLU, and other health systems. We're very proud of our partnerships here. And of course, we always talk about early detection and how important that is. And I guess that's a message you would have for women, Pam. Absolutely. Know your body. Do your, mm -hmm. do your self exams. That's how I found my lump. And again, it was hot, it was warm to the touch, and I'm so glad I didn't ignore it, thinking I was too young. I had a well woman's exam earlier that year, and so I thought I was good. But I'm so glad I knew my body, and I took action. I made an appointment, and then I found out it's breast cancer. And you weren't alone. Talk about how supportive this community has been for you. Oh, I am so grateful that I'm not alone. My, my husband, my king, he stands beside me. I have two boys. Um, they help take care of me. And I had to ring the bell during COVID. Oh. So I went through treatments, you know, chemotherapy, radiation during COVID. And that was so lonely to have to ring the bell by myself. But my, my family and my church community, my basketball families, they did a, a drive-by parade from mm. through my house that lasted miles. And it was amazing. You it are a true lawyer for sure. Thank you. Let's get the information out again, Elizabeth, about the event this Saturday. Yep, October 19th at St. Louis Union Station. Registration starts at 7.30. The walk starts at 9. We have entertainment, Kendra Scott, discount tickets to Polar Express, day of only. There are so many good reasons to come out, but the biggest reason is to help people like Pamela continue to ring that bell. There are so many people like you and you are certainly an, uh, an inspiration for them. And you guys should have great weather this Saturday. We're going to have I was paying attention weather. to that seven day forecast. We've been watching I think you're in good shape. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Elizabeth Brown and Pamela King, thank you both for your time and good luck. Thank, thank you, you so, much. so much. Mm -hmm.